Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's uh, Blazer Guy 1983 again. Here we are working on the blazer again. We got the gas tank out. Uh, I will say it's kind of a pain with one person. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the easiest task I've ever had to do by myself. But uh, being that uh, majority of my jobs result in me doing them by myself, here I am. So this is where we stand. Um, wasn't difficult because we had this out of here not long ago, and that's the only reason why this wasn't as hard to do this time. So I'm just trying to clean all this dirt off around here. She's using some compressed air. Got some rags down here to get any dirt out of it. apologize for all the noise. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and uh, try pull this snap ring out of here without breaking it. It's not very easy when you won't have a decent set snapping glass. Don't you worry. Got a new one of these. Highly recommend it. This one here is just shot. It's just rusted. All right. One more time for good luck. We're going to take the eight hose over. Try to get down in here good. Like I said, you really don't want any dirt going in this tank. I mean, you may get a little bit, but, you know. There we go. Oh, boy. So excited to see this again so soon. So now that we got it broke loose, we're going to look for, uh, it's actually on like a spring. actually on a spring loaded so I'm going to use this put the residual gas in it will come out with it didn't think I'd be back in here so soon kind of actually annoyed by the fact that I'm back in here so soon so you want to be very gentle mechanism. Be kind of a pain in the ass. It's amazing how much fuel was actually in this pump. amazing how much fuel is actually in this pump before you even really get into this, you know? <laughs> you don't realize it sometimes, you know, how much fuel is actually backed up into the pump. So, uh, you really got a terrible amount of gas in there, but apparently, you know, there's enough in there to make it heavy enough, I will say that much. So the thing at question today is this sending unit, and, you know, it's really a shame that it's failing so prematurely on here. In this case, it almost seems like it's varnished, which very well could be the case, because these things do get a lot of little varnish on them, so let's see if we can figure out how in the world to get these things out now. Alright. Yeah, it's hard to see what you're doing out here in the sunlight sometimes. I just got to grab me a screwdriver, just set this pump down and let it rest there for a minute. So 
So, game plan is, I guess here, is to try and get this little contraption in there to press. And this is just a, these connectors are in here. They have these little connectors in here. Basically are just in here. Definitely want you to pull through this, don't they? Jesus Christ. Yeah, clearly they don't want this to come out of here. <laughs> yeah, I haven't gotten any gas down in front of me yet, which is a miracle. Alright guys, how the hell do these come out? <laughs> I mean, this is nuts. Let's see if just squeeze together. <clears throat> Don't know. Okay, well, something ain't giving out here. I'm going to stop you while I figure this out. 